Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. In this video I'm going to show you the Skatarii start collecting box set, uh, all, all the models complete, give you a bit of a review. First things first, I'll say, like I said before, I purchased them from Triple Helix War Games. Great little store they've got and you get a considerable discount. I think Games Workshop moving in the right direction with these. I do hope that they bring out start collecting box sets for all of the armies because uh, they, they do offer great value for money especially this box set because this uh, this Onega Dune Crawler is £40 separately um, from GW and this box set with a discount is £37 so already instead of just buying these singularly it's best to buy this this set with that discount. What do you get? Well if you've seen the unboxing um, you've probably seen the box and everything you get this uh, Dune Crawler you get a Tech Priest Dominus and you get a, a squad of 10, either Rangers or Vanguard. So the Dune Crawler, a uh, lovely model, um, really nice, a uh, uh, pleasure to put together, not too difficult. I thought it would be difficult, but it's, it's fine. He's wobbly and everything because I haven't glued him on there it's, and I haven't glued him onto the base. Normally, like all of these models, I'll, I'll glue glue them onto the base um, just so that I can hold the base while I'm painting and then, and then you know paint the base as, as the last thing but with this model it's just ease of use I can spray this quite easily uh, I can paint this and then I can paint the undercarriage and everything and then glue it and then put it on if it was if it's all glued um, it's gonna be a bit of a pain to move about and things um, just because of the the size of the base really and all the nooks and crannies underneath it so he's he's loose at the moment uh, I wasn't quite sure on the pose I, I wanted to have a pose where he's kind of like attacking with the the pincers but um, they don't go in and out they're just kind of stuck in that position um, which is a bit it's a bit silly really I, I, I would have liked him on his hind legs like about to attack like sometimes you've seen a robotic kind of spider or something like that either way it is what it is uh, I haven't decided whether to have him like that or like that I don't think there's that much difference what I've done also is uh, left the turret um, kind of detachable really know why oh probably just to kind of pose it maybe um, but a really cool thing that I have done is you notice there's two weapons there is if I just uh, gently detach this, he says. So as you can see, I've I've put a bit of a magnet in there, and because of the super glue and things, it kind of stays in there anyway. And um, but I put a magnet in there just to support. I cut away a little bit of that, and it sort of magnetises. Look, I'm not even. I mean, it'll magnetise it and then just push it in to complete the aesthetics or however you want to call it. And the same for all of these weapons. So um, the Eradication Beamer and the Photon Blaster, Heavy Photon Blasters or whatever they're called. Phosphor Blasters, that's the one. So, um, and I would strongly recommend you do that. Uh, it's a shame that it's just not one assembly for the... Uh, Icarus Auto Cannon and the Daedalus Missile Launcher, whatever you want to call it, because that would have been awesome. Because then you could just put all of the different weapons on this one thing. But I wasn't that that much of a fan about the the Icarus um, weapon. I mean, yes, it's twin linked and things, but it's it's Skyfire, so you you're gonna be um, hitting on fives or sixes. Because I think it might be Cognus as well. That's one thing I don't like about Skyfire that if you want to fire at ground ground units then it's kind of like a dedicated anti-air whereas this way I can choose anti-MEQ I can choose um, kind of horde ish and I can choose um, high value targets because the neutron laser uh, is strength 10 AP1 which is a bit a bit crazy um, and this is probably um, the way I'm going to use it I mean stay tuned for my uh, tactics video of a, of a dune crawler. I'll probably have two or three by then um, all all lined up and I'll go through the tactics and things like that how I would use them but I'd, I'd normally use them as a dedicated anti-armour I think they've got armour 12 anyway so they're, they're quite durable in a way but that's how I'd run them all with their uh, kind of shields then their animantic shields I'm, I'm trying to get used to the codex and things like that and all the new weapons and rules and things but that's how i'd use the dune crawlers as kind of anti 
anti-vehicle because um, I've heard that Mechanicum are getting their dedicated flyer at some point so we'll stay tuned for that. Um, so that's the Dune Crawler, lovely model, um, really nice uh, out of the boat from, from GW. Then the Tech Priest Dominus, absolutely incredible model. Um, I'm still on the fence whether he's worth the £22 if you want to, wanted to buy him separately, but that's kind of been pushed out of my head now because of this box set and the immense value. Uh, I haven't magnetised his um, eradication beam or whatever you want to call that one, or his macro stubber. Macro stubber is just like a five shot pistol which is pretty decent, and uh, this this weapon, uh, the beamer, is, is pretty, pretty horrific. I think it fires like a little blast. Um, it's quite decent range too, and he's no slouch in combat. He's got a power axe. He's got invulnerable saves, normal save two plus. I think he's he's one of the best HQs in the game, in in my opinion. I'm so pleased I've I've, I've got him now finally, uh, and I'm sure he'll be an absolute joy to paint. There's so much detail, so much fine work, so much opportunity there. Um, so and he's it's such a large model. Is is larger than I thought. I mean, I do have a a space marine here. Um, I mean, look look at the size of him compared. It's pretty. Yeah, he's very tall. And then finally the rangers. But they're a nice kit, I suppose. But um, and there, there's a lot of detail on them. An awful lot of detail. They're a very pinicky kind of fine detail uh, kind of kit. Um, there's lots of mould lines on the guns, on the cloaks, um, on the backpack, on the power packs, uh, you name it. There's just a lot, of, even on the legs, because they've they've put like spikes, but there's mould lines between the spikes. Luckily you can't really see them that much, um, and I've done my best to kind of cut away at them. I'll probably have another go before I spray them, but um, there's just, just a fine detail miniature that is is not friendly for kind of getting the, the mould lines off and things but saying that they are a lovely lovely detailed kit I've gone for the Rangers just because I think the Rangers look cool when I first saw the pictures of um, Mechanicum and Skatari Eye it was uh, the kind of that's what drew drew me to them I'm probably going to get two or three more box sets of these so that I can have two squads of Vanguard and two of uh, of Rangers um, weapons wise um, the Vanguard are just incredible. Uh, they've got these radium carbines, which kind of, or every wound causes extra wounds. Whereas these guys, the Rangers, have this 30, 30 inch weapon. I just put these on him because it looks cool. But I think, I think any of the hev the special weapons are overpriced in my opinion. Because I think you're paying like twenty five or thirty points for a plasma caliber for a model that doesn't have an amazing save and all the rest of it it's weapon I think it's more than the, the model itself but you know it, it does give you some options it's just in the in this in one of these squads essentially when you've got 10 um, you can have three of these and so that, that the points do mount up I mean I've got the three I've got a plasma I've got a uh, arc rifle I think and I think I've got the Arquebus or whatever you want to call it, Transonic Arquebus, which is ridiculous. But I just chose this because it looks cool. Because you have to pay more points for the blaster, and you have to pay more points for the the Arc Maul. I apologise if I'm getting names wrong and things, but this is a brand new army to me. I've you know I've only just started collecting them, um, and it's difficult for me to start remembering all the new weapons and things. Um, I've got a few good dudes that are running. He's kind of like snapshotting, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're really nice. They do give you plenty of options for poses. Uh, the one thing I will say, though, is that because of the cloaks and because of the shape of the legs, you're kind of stuck with your cloak and your legs being the same. I would have preferred, like... I suppose it is difficult to make cloaks and legs work generically because each cloak kind of is slightly different. Even, like, these two running ones, they look similar, but they're slightly different, and the cloaks only work on specific legs. So I just thought I'd make that that point that if you are planning on getting 20, 30, 40 of these, some of them, uh, uh, instead of their heads, some of them are going to look very similar. Other than the weapon arm poses, the legs and the cloaks are going to look very, very similar. Um, so I just thought I'd make that point. 
Uh, here's the arc rifle. Lo lovely, uh, lovely weapon, and I like how it's connected to his power pack. He's got like a little arc generator or something on on the back, and the plasma. Uh, very ridiculous weapon. It's assault three, and it's basically a plasma gun, but assault three, and gets hot. So. <laughs> He's probably gonna just blow himself up. Um, but imagine having like three of them and they all blow themselves up. I just, I just think, I just think that's hilarious. All because they're they're kind of um, cemented in their ways and they're stubborn and they don't they don't want to have a vent for the have a better vent for the plasma or have a I don't know a a limiter um, on the amount of power. And then this this is just like the the biggest gun in 40k you can ever imagine. I mean that's like that's not a knife, this is a knife. This is like crazy. I mean I think it's actually probably taller than a or longer than a Space Marine Scout. I mean that's it's definitely let's just have a quick look shall we? Yeah, the weapon is taller than a Space Marine. I mean, it needs its own like little bipod. It's crazy, isn't it? But, oh well, there you go. They can obviously um, carry that around. I'd like to know how much it weighs, though, in real terms. But anyway, and you get this funky, funky base. Um, you do get another base if you don't want to have this weapon. That's just a point to make. But um, you only get enough for one of these three kind of special slash heavy weapons you, you only get one of each you don't get three plasmas three arcs and three uh, arquebuses you you only get one of each so yeah if you're planning on getting multiple kits probably a good idea because then you could have three three of the same in one uh, squad which is you know it, it is what it is so dune crawler excellent model dominus fantastic that's going to be lovely to paint these guys they look good, but they are limited a little bit in, in posability. I'll show you the spare parts. Right then, so hopefully you can see, if you choose the Rangers, this is what you get. You get, you'll get a couple more of the uh, the normal rifles, um, but you get a lot of these uh, radium carbines. Um, if you, if you don't use them, you get a lot of them. You get a power pack. You get lots of heads, lots of the these kind of Mechanicum. Vanguard heads, hopefully you can see that. Um, you can get the taser rod or prodder, whatever you want to call it. Um, you get this uh, this rifle that's just kind of separate. Um, that'd be cool to have like on a trophy wall if you're making a diorama, I think, or just or just rested on a log maybe. Um, if you wanted to, I'm giving you loads of ideas here, but so that's cool that you get a separate one. You get a, the finger of doom as always. Uh, yeah, so you get, oh, you get a power sword, forgot about that. I'm not sure, their initiative, I think, is only like three, so they, they'll they probably be striking the same or maybe one lower than the normal troops. And their strength isn't incredible either. Um, so, but I just chose the, the you know, the arc more. Uh, you also get an arc pistol as well. I chose the phosphor blaster because um, I think it's got the luminogen. Luminogen, I'm going with that um, special rule, which kind of reduces the cover save and things. But there's so many things with with luminogen uh, special rule. Anyway, so that's all your uh, extra parts there. And then for like this is mainly for the Dune Crawler because the Dominus doesn't really get any special parts other than he gets a different weapon and I think he gets the uh, Serpenta um, pistol. So he only gets two and he gets a different head as well. Got to mention that, but the Dune Crawler, um, you've got enough to have a uh, Skatari eye popping out the top hatch if you really want, um, and you've got enough to have a heavy uh, cognis, not heavy, uh, cognis stubber um, on the on the rim there if you really wanted. I didn't because I'd be running them with this, and I don't want to pay extra, extra points. I mean, I think it's only like five points, but. Um, you, you have that option. There's these kind of brake things, um, so it can, I think it sort of like goes like that and it it holds it in place against, you know, when it's firing, these kind of like pads, but I think, well, it's designed like a spider, so it should just have these spindly little legs, but there's plenty of people that have these kind of shoes, as it were, and then you can have like a close combat kind of weapon type thing. 
Someone said that like it increases the initiative and its number of attacks or something, but I couldn't find anything in the rules about that. Um, so I'm just guessing that it's just aesthetics, but put it down in the comments if I'm completely wrong. And then you get the, the Icarus, this, which are the, these kind of barrels, and um, this part here, which is sort of like the, the missile, the Daedalus missile launcher. Here we are, this is the one. Yeah, with the missiles in it. Um, and that would normally just uh, pop on uh, pop on there where this um, symbol is so that would pop on there and then the autocannons would come out of here but I chose I chose not to for that then you get this uh, this eye thing omniscope kind of thing that wouldn't go there but I like the little radar dish I think that's pretty cool and also this as well these kind of just looks like a TV if you're going to put it on there. It's just my opinion. Just like looks like one of those old TV aerials. So yeah, so you you get a few parts there. I'm not sure whether you could use them for anything. You might be able to um, set up the missile pod of the missile launcher. Maybe have a couple of these dotted around on bases and things. I'm not sure, but or standing on one. I don't think there's going to be an awful lot of use for for all this stuff. So there you go, you come to the, the end of my uh, review of this, uh, this Star Collecting Box set. I strongly suggest you get this set. If you're thinking about Skitari Eye, this is the best way to kind of start. What I would do at the moment is I'd, I'd get this set and then I'd buy the new codex that's coming out in two or three months or so, probably less than that, and um, that has the combined Skitari Eye and Mechanicum um, forces in it. Um, if you can't wait, because these are lovely, lovely models and um, well worth the money and you, you get so much value in the box for them. Thank you for joining me, thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.